were trying to get pregnant and it took us a while. We found out it was he was a boy and almost immediately we wanted to name him after Dana, Dana Mori. Everything was going like super well until August 9th. Within 24 hours, we lost the baby, we lost Dana. Yeah, it was at 21 weeks, so just short of, full, of what we needed for him to have a chance. We were a part of two churches at the time, and um, they were just, we were just covered with yeah. just the love and outpouring of support from both Found the Life and The Edge. I would say we probably had a full year of grieving, probably. We weren't ready at that time, emotionally or spiritually, really. I actually checked the, the day, the anniversary of baby Dana. And she came into the bedroom and she's like, I'm pregnant. And I was just like, I know. Like, I just had a feeling that she was. We started just looking forward to milestones, like hitting certain weak marks. At the same time, it was still scary because Dana was healthy all the way through. We knew that the entire community was praying for us and uh, we could definitely feel that and we were, we were just a, definitely a shower with that blessing. I remember one day and specifically where we found out maybe there possibly could be a problem mm -hmm. and I, I like fear gripped my soul. So thankful for our small group who really prayed us through that whole time. Made a decision after that to, to um, be bold about my faith and to choose not to be afraid and, and to really take hold of any fearful thought. I remember one time when we went to post on Facebook that we were expecting, we were thinking about writing like something like, well, sh her due date should be this if everything goes well. But we had to kind of watch our language and just start speaking words of faith and, no, everything is going to be fine and this is when she's coming and, and she will be full term. I smacked Pete awake yep. <laughs> at four in the morning. Her heart rate started going all over the place. At that point, the, the doctors said, we need to go, like, go to the operating room now and, and remove her. I'm sure it was only like a minute, but it felt like 15 minutes where I was just alone. And um, all I could remember saying was just Jesus, 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 because I just couldn't get any other words out. I, I really felt like the Lord said, it's going to be all right. And just a few minutes later, they pulled her out and they actually, they yanked her out and they, they didn't pull her out. Yeah, she was stuck. Uh, and she came out and she was crying a couple seconds yeah. later and, and, and we, we were, were crying. crying. She was nine pounds, 13 ounces mm. and 20 and a half inches long. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I remember praying for, praying for Dana, just telling God to say like, hey, what's up buddy for me? You know, <laughs> I felt like he said, you know, he's, this is, He's my son first. Like Abby is is God's baby first, and we just we get to like take care of her. But she's God's. We acknowledge that she is our responsibility. That God gave it her to us to raise and to take care of, and um, we we welcome that responsibility and we know that we can't do it by ourselves, so that's why we're up here asking for our small group's help, our family's help, our community's help, our church's help, and just the blessing and prayer from our elders and, and just everybody in our community.